So, okay. Now we are moving on to the brainstorming part of our project. We're doing this before we start or know what exactly we're doing to get a couple ideas out and started. What you're going to do is pull out a sketch paper, which is one of your gray, really thin papers in your booklet. Put it out on front of you. You're gonna in front of you, excuse me, and you're gonna follow along with me here the fast that you can. So the first thing we always do, well, first getting out your pencil. If it's not sharpened yet, what you're going to do is take out your sharpener and gently run it through. Um, if you produce a little scraps on your paper when you're sharpening your pencil. What you'll do is shake out that sharpener and you'll have to go to the trash can with your paper and then empty that out into the trash can. I'm pretending that my hand is the trash can here and I just put that in the trash. Now, starting with our sharpened pencil, what we are going to do is first put our name on the side, the top right uh, left hand corner like we always do. Then moving to the middle, we're going to write our name again. So these are, we're brainstorming ideas that interest you. So what are you interested in? What do you like to do? So if I was filling this out for me, I have my name here in the middle, and I'm gonna outline it in a pretty interesting way. And then I'm going to go off the center, off my name with lines to things that I like to do. So I like to ski, which you learned about in the intro, intro video. I really love snow, which is connected to skiing. You can add little icons by what you like to, to show it. So I have a little snowflake here. And then I'm going to add a couple more things. So I like art. I'm an art teacher, so that makes sense. I like art. I like colors specifically, like exploring and experimenting with color. Think about things that you might be able to experiment to. So colors, my favorite color is purple. So I can add that on here as well. Making sure we're starting with that pencil. And the reason we're starting with pencil is why? That's right, so if we make a mistake, we can erase. So we have our pencil and our eraser out and ready. And also our crayons by our side. But the crayons will be used later on, so don't break them out quite yet. So some other things that I like to do. So this summer I did a lot of paddle boarding. I went to the lake. I like this to swim, so I'm going to add that on here. And the reason I like swimming is because I really love the water. This time I drew my bubble first, and I'm going to add my letters in here. It doesn't matter what you're spelling or what it looks like. This is just a brainstorming sheet so we have a better idea of what we want to do for our project and what we're interested in and, and what we could experiment with. So in art, I really like to use watercolors as well. I like to play with textiles, which are um, fabrics. Hmm. What else do I like? I like skiing. I like art. I like swimming. I like to read as well. So I really love books. I love reading. It's what I spent some time doing recently. Hmm. 
Ooh, animals are a great thing. So what's your favorite animal? Do you love lions? Do you love tigers? I love dogs. I'm really hoping to get one soon. Um, I like dogs a lot. I like the fact that they have fur. <laughs> I think it's, it's like really fun. Um, and I'm sure there's more that we can add to this as we go along and as we think of some things that might fit really well. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break out my colors. And I'm going to choose some colors that go along with the words and the images that I drew. So I'm going to start with my name. And my name is going to be outlined in purple. And outlining is just going over the marks that you made previously, maybe in pencil or in a different color. I'm going to go over that in purple because it's my favorite color. Maybe adding some area to the outside here, some lines, then moving to the color purple because purple should be purple, right? Well, I guess it could also not be purple. You can go over your words too if you want to. Sometimes I don't think it sticks out as well when you do that, but for this one, it's all right. And then all the lines coming off of here are going to be purple too. And then I can decide what other colors I want or you want in yours. So if you have um, swimming, I would say swimming for me would probably be blue. So I can go over my swimming in blue and adding these colors to our ideas will eventually, when we choose one, give us a good idea of what we want to create. And maybe even going down into the water area. But you can see that I'm not going over completely, and that's okay. I'm missing some spots. And then going over here to skiing. Gonna do the same thing, adding that color that I think goes really well with snow and skiing. Maybe adding some more symbols. So maybe a little raindrop next to the water. I can even combine some colors. So maybe I want to add a little bit of purple to my swimming, the outside. Making this kind of like a little artwork in itself, which is um, fun. Then I'm going to break out the green for reading. I like to read outside and the green reminds me of the grass and the trees when I'm outside reading. So maybe I can make the grass come up here on the top. Um, dogs. I always think of brown dogs. I, I think a chocolate lab would be really nice to have, but I'm sure all, all dog breeds are pretty nice to have. And the fur. The fur, I think of a lion with its brown and its orange. Notice how I'm always putting my crayons back in the box so I don't lose them. Orange fur. And the orange I'm going to use on art, too. And as you're doing this, you'll, your brainstorming will get a lot more colorful. The reason we're using crayon instead of, let's say, marker is so that it doesn't lead through the other side because we're going to flip this over for our sketch page. I'm going to use that orange for these, like it's spouting off. I can add some more things. So for art, I also really like painting. Oh, yellow is not a good color to write in first. Painting. And I'm going to continue doing that to the rest of my brainstorming sheet. Just adding some of that color and some of the ideas that go along with the words. Okay, so now that we have our brainstorming paper, 
we're going to talk a little bit about what we're actually going to do with this project. So I'm going to share my screen here with you. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're researching an interest in our brainstorming. We're thinking about what we like, what we could um, explore more in our artworks, just as artists do. And our question for this project is going to be, how can we use paper to make a mask that shows movement? So much like Nick, Nick Cave did in his project, we're going to be figuring out how we can use one of these ideas from our brainstorming to influence our art um, to create a mask that we're adding to to show movement, which may sound a little bit hard to grasp right now, but I'm gonna go through each step to this process. 